Good morning, everyone. We are back in Rising World. Uh, the sun is just coming up, and I'm going to give you a little tour. I seem to have solved my problem with the farm, I think. Uh, I was having an issue uh, that has been reported that uh, the crops don't ripen and I, I ripped everything out um, my last session and replanted and it looks like it looks like everything is now ripening except do I have corn? I do not have corn um, except for the corn and I do not know why the corn is not growing, but I do have tomatoes, I have potatoes, I have pumpkins, and I have carrots out the wazoo, and uh, hemp, and I did manage to find one more tomato plant. I'm so happy. Because when you um, cut the tomato plants, you only get one sapling. So it it's nigh on impossible to uh, increase your tomato plants in your garden if you don't go out and find them because they don't make new saplings when you when you cut them it just makes one so it's one for one that's not helpful anyhow um, so I did go ahead and put up a um, a video from my last session but uh, it's just me running around looking at craziness um, because the hour and a half long video yes it was way too long was um, without audio at all and I don't know why because it appeared my microphone was working but it, it wasn't and so I'm hoping it is working this time so this time I'm going to give you a little tour of what I have done thus far and my plans so you can see that I have my little hovel uh, it is not finished yet, but it is a, a little mud hut, uh, wattle and daub, um, and uh, it is half timbered, not quite finished, and I have moved my, uh, my bench to the back, which I will show you. I have my little working area back here. I have my bench and my anvil and my bigger my bigger stove for the the uh, molten metal. Back here is my fireplace. I'm very proud of my roof. Uh, I think it looks great. And I have a back door, but no doors on my doors because these people. I'm imagining this is the medieval times. And these people cannot afford glass just yet, which is why they don't have doors either, since we only have glass doors. I will eventually plaster the walls, but right now they're just mud. I, I finished um, putting up all my beams and my, and my wall ends, which I don't think anyone saw, but I did get my wall ends in. And I put up a, um, a little loft, which is not very usable because you can't stand up, up except for in the middle. So it's just there for looks. I have a bed in here, and I have storage in here. And I have my old workbench, which is now a table. Um, and I made bread. Uh, this bread is simply this loam block in a sphere and flattened to look like bread or a cow pie which whichever you think in my messing around I have also uh, completed the patio area which is going to be the work area and and I put a little um, fence around it and back here will be the privy, which we might actually get started on today. And while I was messing around, I decided I needed a back entrance to my mine. 
so I put this I put this uh, hole in and I tried to meet up with the mine. It took me forever and many false turns to finally meet up with the mine that I already had started. I get very disoriented in the mines. So I made this little entrance and I put timbers around it to hold back the dirt and it's very haphazard looking on purpose. So this is my mine and you can see many holes where I was trying to figure out which way to go and I'm I finally did figure it out but man it took me a long time and now I'm still lost uh, is this the way no perhaps over here Oh dear, how embarrassing. I don't know which way to go to find my way to the other end of the mine. But we will try, we will try getting lost, which is what we will do. <laughs> um, perhaps over here. Oh, perhaps over here. Yes, I get very disoriented in these mines. Um, as you can see by my strange light placement, I never know which way is up. Is there birds in here? I don't think so. Somebody told me that if you go into a mine, you should always go right, and that way you won't you won't get lost. I don't know if that's true or not. And here we are again. I should tell you about my plans for this little area. Uh, what I have planned to do is a, a, a tiny village. Uh, there's my little house, and down here. I have flattened this area a little bit, made it not quite so bumpy. So down here, my plan is to make a tiny little wharf or um, at least a dock and, and get a boat or two. And then somewhere in here, um, perhaps on a pier, I will put a fishing house. So they'll be like as if somebody in the village is the fisherman and, and he will have a fishing house down here somewhere. And I've been trying to think of a name for my little village and I put in this um, willow tree or this weeping beach, whatever it's supposed to be. Um, and this is a little cove, and I thought, well, why don't we call it Coventry? Ha 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 ha. Coventry, get it? Uh, but I'm looking for names. I, that's probably not a good name, but I'm looking for names for my little village. Anyhow, so my thought was that because I have this little area here, I could maybe move the garden and put more houses in here. So this could become like a little village and then I could put my garden up on the hill or something up there. Uh, and so I flattened this area out thinking, well, I'm not sure what, what will come next, but I'm thinking what might come next is after I finish my hovel, um, this area up here, see how laggy it is? Uh, this area up here will become uh, the inn. So I'm going to build like a two-story half-timbered building here that will be an inn that overlooks this lower area which will probably become like a street or a town square or something like that with more little little houses around. Um, maybe the same size as this, or maybe even a little smaller than this. 
Uh, and maybe they'll be like attached houses on a street like you might have seen in a town um, back in the day and even to this day. I kind of like the view from up here. It's, it's decent. Anyhow, so I have a couple of choices I can, um, I can finish the half timbering, uh, maybe put some plaster on the outside of the walls. I had, I'd thought about either painting or um, putting up a, a layer of plaster, and I'm thinking a layer of plaster will make more sense. Um, so I could do that. Or I can um, put that off <laughs> a little longer and uh, build a privy. And I have no plans for the privy, so I do not know exactly what I would be doing. It will be a rough looking privy. And I will have to make a hole here somewhere. Um, because every little hovel needs a privy. There's no indoor plumbing. Uh, I need to uh, I need to set myself a timer real quick because I tend to um, tend to forget. So let's set this. Okay. Um, I tend to forget what I'm doing and then my videos get too long. So, uh, I'm thinking watching me build a privy when I don't know what I'm doing might be more exciting than putting plaster on the house. But maybe you'd like to see what I mean by putting plaster on the house. I could, I could at least show you what I, th what I'm thinking. Uh, let's go here. And I need... Uh, some stone, which I know I'm not carrying any at the moment. So let's get some stone. And let's go here and look at the plaster. Plaster. We have several kinds here. This one looks fairly primitive, and I think that's what we want. Yeah, these are, that looks like whitewashed brick or something. So I think we're gonna go with this one. And let's just make a few sheets. modern workbench. Oh, well then. I don't have one of those. Okay then. There will be no plaster in, in the near future because I do not have enough aluminum to make a modern workbench. And I don't think there's anything in here that I would want to use in place of plaster. Uh, so, well that decides it. No plaster will be happening here. Okay then. Well, so for the, uh, the outhouse, we're probably gonna use wood. Um, and I kind of like this, this stuff for, for part of it. I've been using that. That 
one's kind of rough too. This one is like has bark on it, which I used for my my logs that I used for the roof. Um, hmm. I know that I don't have any lumber on me, so I'm going to need some lumber. Let's look and see what we have in here. Hello? I have a log. And I have another log. Um, we're not going to be able to do much because I don't think I have any more um, I have this stuff. I guess I could make the um, beams with that. I think I'll get that. And I think I'll use this for the hole. Okay, I don't believe that I have any more lumber, but let me just check here. No lumber there. And I'm pretty sure... Whoops! See, I gotta get rid of this... Um... Well, anyway, there's the loft. I gotta get rid of this ladder because that happens. <laughs> it's in the way. No lumber there. Well, folks, we might be cutting down some trees. That's another thing that hasn't uh, grown for me is sometimes I have planted some trees and they get to middle stages and don't continue to grow. My apple tree in, in particular um, is not growing. Um, I think I do want some of these. So let's see, I need lumber. How much lumber can I make? Not that much. Um, okay, so um, building. I want a few of these, and I'm thinking that these will be good for around the privy hole because they look damp. So let's make let's make eight of them. And then uh, let's just make uh, some more of this color because I know I will use these. Okay. So, uh, Um, I have a tomato in my hand. Okay, good. Now, let's think about this. Um, a privy should not be too huge. And I think I want to do... Uh, <laughs> Let's do this, and let's get that one down here too. Hello? Come on. All right, um, 
let's see, we got uh, five, five blocks by five blocks. That's plenty big enough. But I don't think I want them to be that, that, uh, I want them to be half, half sized. So let's go. Oh, that's interesting. Um, did you see what just happened? What just, what, what the, what is going on? Oh, I see what's going on. I'm using the plus and minus keys instead of the arrow keys, and that does something different. Oh, interesting. That sizes it on all four sides. I did not know that. Wow. Huh. Okay. Um, what I want to do is check the scale precision and I think I'll go with 0.5 and one, two, and then page up as high as it will go, which is five. And I will place that right there. And that one right there. And that one. Okay, so this is not tall enough. How tall do I want it to be? I want it to be like six blocks tall, six whole blocks tall. And so I, I have like two and a half showing. I should have put, um, I should have put uh, the return key on so that it was standing tall, but I didn't. So let's just make this a little shorter. Um, so two blocks. So now it's going to be... Oh, that's too tall. Let's go down more. I think that's probably better. Hmm. Let me look at that. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, let me just look at this. How tall is that? That actually doesn't seem too bad. Oh, and I meant to use the logs for the, uh, the the stuff with the bark for these. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I need my hammer. And it is not here. I think I might have put it in here. There's my hammer. Let's keep this out. Okie dokie. So what do we have here? We have one, two, three. If we have like two and a half. So that's like five blocks. That's probably good enough. Okay, hammer. Okay. 
so we got two, four and a half. Yeah, that's about right, I think. Four and a half blocks tall. One, two, three, four, four and a half. So just a little taller than a normal door, which is good because this is going to be very primitive. It is a privy. All right, uh, so we're going to go a little longer with this. Actually, let's just, hello. Um, Just do it that way. Oops. Okay. It's going to go right there. And right there. And uh, oh, what did I do? I did not get that upright in the right place, but I can fix that. Uh, okay, so we want it to go this direction. Two seventy. That seems like the right. Oh, and I'm going to put that over here because then I will have the corner in the correct spot. So, hello, hello, hello. Why are you not in the right spot? Why? <coughs> Do you not know where I want you to go? I want you to go there. Okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here and we're just gonna move it this way. Oh, what happened? Oh. Let's take the return off. Let's turn this around. All right, and I want this to go Is where I want it. Let's hit control and we'll go this way. Like so. And then we're going to take out that other one. This one is in the wrong place.
to stand you up. I guess I could have just resized it, but this will work. Ninety. Ninety degrees. All right, so you go here. What happens if we hit return? Nothing good happens when you hit return, but we can we can do this. Uh, I thought we were resizing it, but I guess not. where I wanted that. Okay, so now we have our beefy, uh, our very beefy frame. <laughs> it's much beefier than I expected. <laughs> Probably should have made those timbers a little bit smaller, but it's okay. All right, so now then, what we need to do is think about what kind of a roof would we put on a privy. I'm just thinking something something easy, not thatch. Uh, first of all, we need some uprights that are skinnier. So we're going to go and fix this to 0.1. And make these a little skinnier. Okay. And we're going to put this. I'm trying to find the middle. And it looks like I can't find the middle. Uh, because my. Is that the middle? It doesn't quite look like it, but maybe it is. All right, that's way too tall. Um, you just want to have a peaked roofed, but not too tall. Like right there. And then I'm going to move that right there. Okay. Now I need a cross beam. So I need this same size but a little bit longer. And it's going to go up there. And I think the easiest way to do that will be this way. say perfect when we all know it's not. Okay, so then let's have another look. Uh, 
let's do something different here. Um, what I want to do, I might need to put some bricks down to, to stand on so I can see what I'm doing. Oops. Is that the same size? I think it is. Uh, nope. Let's see, 3.7, 3. 3. 5, 0.5 and 3.7 so we want it to be three three and three I think I mean I don't know what I mean um, Then I'm going to make it longer this way. And I'm going to rotate it. Oops. Get shorter. I'll figure it out sooner or later. Okay, so that's about what I want. So I hit control. No, I hit control. Come on. Hit control. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of move it into the position that I want. Uh, I think I need to make my grid a little smaller. And I need to make this post a little longer. Um, I did not mean to do that. OK, so there, grid smaller. And that's about where I want it. I think. All right. Now I'm going to move it. Oh, what happened? What did it do? Oh, how weird. How weird. It just like. Hmm. Let's see if I can adhere it to this one, hit control, and then move it. Yeah. I know you can't really see that very well, but I think I'm getting it in the right spot. I'm going to go check. I'm stuck. <laughs> Crouch and walk. There we go. 
Am I in the right spot? Almost. So what I just did there was made the grid smaller, so it would move and in smaller increments. And that's about where I want it. Close enough. Okay, so I'm looking at the numbers over on the left-hand side, and the rotation is 330 degrees. So I need to make it... I could keep that, maybe, and then rotate it around. Uh, no, I'll never get that. I'll never get that the same. I don't do math. Um, and there's no way to rotate it when it's in control, I don't think. Yeah, that moves it up and down. That's page up and page down. So it's still in control, which, which means it's still manual. And I can move it, but I can't rotate it. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to take it off control. Let's see, where am I with this? Is it still rotated? If I turn off return, no, it is not still rotated. Okay, so I want to do the same thing I did on this side. Let's just see if I can figure this out. Um, I'm going to try and rotate it. So that it's the same angle. What would that be? 30? Seems right. That's about the right spot. So let's hit control and we will page up and to the left, up, left, up. I'm trying to make a peak here. I'm trying to get it just about there. And that is not the same as the other side. But again, this is a privy. Okay, I'm gonna say that's it. And now I'm going to move it over. Let's make the grid bigger so that it will move a little quicker. And that's pretty close. Darn, that's very close. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so that is the frame for the privy. And then I think we need a crossbar. All oh, those those things look beefy, don't they? I almost want to redo that with smaller timbers. Um, where 
Where's my beam? Uh, this is not what I want, but you shall see, I think. So rather than just going to, whoops, I'm just going to grow this to the size I need it. Do that size and so it is the right size but not the right orientation. get it right there but spin it so that it's 45 degrees or whatever let's see um, return <gasps> Ooh, that might just do it oh that's my timer I'm close to getting this framed up the way I want and I think actually let me just have a look at that oh what happened there we go uh, how far out am I oh it's too far do we want to have a little Eve on there? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Let's, um... <gasps> what the heck happened? <sighs> okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. All right, that's a signal. <laughs> That's a signal it's time for me to stop. My dog is going ballistic. Okay, I placed the block. Anyway, so you can see we have a privy started and I shall continue. Let's have a look at the privy. There we go. It's started. And I will let you know what it looks like next time. Bye. Bye-bye.